to you friend, welcome back to our channel, our topic today is titled, Lovers, with that said, let's start, our memory text for today's lesson is coming from the book of, 2 Timothy 3 verse 1 to 5, the Bible records, do we begin again to commend ourselves, or need we, as some others, epistles of commendation to you, or letters of commendation from you, verse 2, ye are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men, verse 3, for as much as ye are, manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshy tables of the heart, verse 4, and such trust have we through Christ to God toward, verse 5, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God, Amen, and Amen, friend, Paul here talks about the last days, as perilous times, he is not referring, it seems, about peril, in the sense of having to worry about physical danger, such as from an errant nuclear weapon, no not really, rather, the message seems to be warning of spiritual danger, it has been clear, two times in the above texts, that, Paul talks about, lovers, that is lovers of themselves and lovers of pleasures, of course, it is not wrong to love, oneself, this is highlighted in the book of Matthew 22 verse 39, and there is nothing wrong with loving pleasure as well, after all, God did not create us with physical desires, and create all around us, the means of satisfying those desires, only to hold them back from us, did he, absolutely not. When people become lovers of themselves, at the expense of everything and everyone else, they make themselves out to be their own gods, this is supported by the book of Genesis 3 verses 5, and when this happens, evil follows, in fact, look at the list of how people would be in the last days, it is not hard to see how those things can stem from a life in which love of self rules, after all. The root cause of sin itself is from the self-love of one of the angelic beings called Lucifer, who begun devoting the first love to himself, up to a point of wanting to be like God, so sad, friend, note that Paul says that, the problem will be so acute that even the people who claim to love God, will create a theology that justifies them in their selfish actions and attitudes, oh God help us, we are this generation for sure. Look at what is happening nowadays, people have turned God's name to be a source of wealth and not salvation, which really is the most important thing, please friend, if you are attending a church that only preaches the sermons of achieving success in each week, and has never sermoned on the gospel of salvation, then friend, run away from it, consider this, each week you attend the church it is about success in this life, in terms of richness or otherwise, now friend, when will you be taught on the gospel of salvation which is the backbone of our Christianity and hence make you repent and be forgiven, think along these lines, this are the preachers the Bible has highlighted above who seeks to justify their selfish desires of accumulating wealth through preaching the gospel of, the more you give to the Lord, the more you will be blessed, so sad, but that is what is happening nowadays, may God help us, hope you were blessed with today's lesson. Please share to bless others, like if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more blessing content, see you in the next video by God's grace, and may the good Lord bless you and your families forever and ever, Amen and Amen.